A eh, little sprinkles here and there, nothing mm -hmm. to complain about, especially no shoveling. Thir yes, well, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Thirteen hundredths of an inch of precipitation is what we officially saw for the day. And look across our Doppler Max 11 radar now. There's nothing there at all. Everything is quiet as we scan around the area. There is precipitation to find. It's just falling apart here as it comes into the state of Georgia off of the Gulf of Mexico across the Florida Panhandle. As this falls apart along this boundary, it will regenerate tomorrow. And here's another line that's starting to form with a much more pronounced effect. This has a lot more precipitation all the way back into Texas. This eventually will start to work this way. One other feature to show you. See this line of snow that's coming through the northern plains now into Nebraska, Iowa, up into Wisconsin? That's the leading edge of some polar air. Yes, we haven't seen polar air for a little while. Here it comes again, though. This will go off to the east and not even get close to us, but it will help cool us just a bit. So let's look at future max. With the clouds in place, look at the showers, and we're going to stop it at 10 o'clock on Friday morning. That's our next real chance of shower activity, again, coming from the northwest on this southwest to northeast flow. And 10 o'clock Friday leads to 8.30 Friday night. Still some showers off and on as we go through the day. Once we clear that, we get get a little break and you think to yourself, hey, the rest of the holiday weekend is going to be fine, right? Wrong. This is going to be our Christmas rain that will quickly eject off the Texas plains and toward the southeast. That will be a part of our forecast as well. Looks like later in the day on Sunday. But right now, clouds are becoming more broken as we go into the evening for Savannah proper. We've got some high clouds, but some of our areas, Effingham County, back over toward Liberty County and Bryan County, you're seeing some starry skies. That won't last very long. Low pressure, another area will scoot from the southwest to northeast out of the lower Mississippi Valley. Here comes that cold front, bringing cold air mid-Atlantic farther northward, high pressure. Then here's the developing system that we'll see coming up for Christmas. Temperatures are slow to fall with the cloud cover tonight. In fact, they've been bouncing a bit. 65 is our current temperature. Statesboro, 64. Brunswick, 66. Hilton Head currently at 66 degrees. Here's your Doppler Max 11 forecast for tonight. Winter solstice starts in moments. Whatever you've got planned for autumn that you've got to get done, you've got until 12.30 in the morning, 61 degrees will be the overnight low. Tomorrow should be dry for most of the day, unseasonably warm. If there are any pop-up showers, it would be inland. 76 will be the afternoon high, again with that south breeze. 60 tomorrow night. There's Friday's 40% chance of showers, 73. Saturday, more clouds, 30% chance of showers, and highs only in the 60s, 68. Sunday, 40% chance of showers, 63. Lingering into Monday, we stay in the 60s. Overnight lows in the 40s and up. Uh, uh, lower 50s through the period as well. So no real extremes there. And that's been our storyline for most of the months, November and December. So again, Christmas Eve services, mild with a light breeze. There is a chance of showers. It should be fine. I'm afraid Santa's going to need his rain gear, though, as we go yeah. through the holiday. Well, that'll be all right. The sleigh will be slick Shoo! right down the roof. It'll be fine. Waxed up and looking good. And what a way to start winter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, sure. John. Well, just hanging around at home.